Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be making a DIY tunnel hammock with a peekaboo hole in the center. Um, I'm going to put the dimensions to this tunnel in the description. I'm also going to put all of the materials you will need in the description and I will put a link to my Etsy shop if you don't sew and you're interested in purchasing one of these. Um, right now you won't find a listing for this on my shop so you would have to just message me and we could discuss it and I could set you up a custom order. Um, if you have any questions when you start sewing this and you get stuck or anything like that, check out the description there. will My email will be in the description as well and so is a link to my website. So um, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. <laughs> Okay, so for this tutorial, you're gonna need um, a pen. You're gonna need clips or pins. You're gonna want a pair of scissors, something to measure with. You're gonna need some strapping or fleece to hang it. You're gonna, I'm gonna be using um, fusible, inter, fusible fleece. You can also use batting, but it may make it really thick and this will help it hold its shape. You're also gonna need two pieces of fleece. Um, I'm using the celestial fleece and a solid navy blue color. And you're also gonna want something to draw a circle. So I'm gonna use my glass bowl um, for that. And you're gonna need your iron and if you have fusible fleece and your sewing machine. Okay, so let's start with my fabric. My tunnel is going to be approximately 16 inches long with a hole in the center at the top. Now. Um, I roll, because of how we're going to make this, I wanted to have leave enough fleece to roll the ends back when we're, when we get to the end point. So the measurements for my tunnel are 21 inches by 26 inches. Um, and that will all make sense in a little bit when we get started. So I will put the measurements in the description to this specific tunnel. So you can put your fleece aside for two seconds. I want to talk about this. Um, my measurements for this are going to be 17 inches by 23 inches. I'm making this a little bit smaller. The extra inches that I leave at the end to roll over do not need to have fusible fleece, and that's why this is shorter than that. Um, this is actually a bit longer than it needs to be. In reality, it needs to really be a little bit shorter. We're going to cut it when we go to iron it on. So I'm going to iron on my fusible fleece now, and I'll give you guys the exact measurements in the description. Okay, so what I've done is I've drawn on this for you guys so that you can see what I'm doing here. This is the width of my tunnel. So my tunnel is going to be 16 inches long. These extra inches over here are to roll over at the end to hide the raw edges. I made my tunnel 21 inches, which is way, it's going to make a huge hole. But that's okay because we're going to probably sew in about an inch. Um, once we do this next step, it's gonna kind of dishevel the fabric. So leaving yourself some extra room is great because you can square it off at the end before you sew it all together. So we need to, we're gonna wanna put our circle in the center. Take into account, you got about an inch and a half or two on each end that's gonna also be an extra fabric because really I make my tunnels 19 by 16 to leave an opening that I want. So we're gonna find our center to the best of our ability. Draw a circle. Okay, so I'm gonna, you can pin or clip. I recommend that you pin or clip this in place for this next step, just because you don't want your fabric to move. Okay, that should probably do it. You're gonna go to the sewing machine and you're gonna stitch around this circle. So now that you've sewn your circle, you can take your clips off. And what you're gonna wanna do is cut your circle out. What you don't wanna do is cut your thread line. So you wanna get as close to the edge as you can, but you don't wanna cut your, your thread. Okay, now you've done that. You're gonna wanna take this and you're gonna bring it through. Next, 
what you want to do. Get yourself some, I guess you can't, if you don't, if you're using pins, you probably can't do this. I do this with clips because I want my edges to be pretty, you know, this is not a necessary step. This is what I do because it helps me stitch it nicely, but you could stitch it nicely and not do this. So it's, this is completely, this step is optional. I would recommend that you st stitch though. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine. And I'm going to top stitch around this. When you do that, go really slow. It, it used to be intimidating. A lot of people say, oh, it's hard to do circles. If you line the edge of your presser foot up against here and you push your needle as far over to the right as you can, you can do a beautiful top stitch. You just have to go slow. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, um, I'm sure most sewing machine needles will move over. You can move your needle. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna position my presser foot along the edge. If you see that, that's right up along that edge right there. And then I'm gonna move my needle over as far as it's gonna go. And I'm gonna move my stitch length to six because this is really thick. And you just wanna go slow. And you're going to kind of have to make the fabric do what you want it to do. You just stay along that edge. All right, so now we've done that. I want to square up my fabric before I stitch this so that it makes sense. If you notice your fabric's uneven, that happens when you do these circles. That's why we left. That's why I made this so big because I knew that I would have to trim this out and square it up when I was done. Creating the circles completely messes up your square. It does not, it's not square anymore. And so I always leave extra inches so that I can fix that and still end up with the size that I wanted. And that is why I made my tunnel so big. So now what I want is for this to be 19 inches wide. Um, and the 16, we're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave the length, but we only want 19 inches wide. Okay, so I squared up my hammock so that it was nice and square and all my edges matched and I wasn't trying to fight with it. So now what you want to do is you want to take your um, fabric, you want to fold it in half so that the right side of your outer fabric is facing each other. So for me, my outside fabric is going to be the celestial. I'm going to want to fold it in half like this. And then you're going to want to clip it or pin it however you want to do it. Make sure that it's clipped in place really well. And you want to line it up the best that you can um, so that so that it's all nice and lined up and like this. So now that you have it clipped, you are going to stitch along the top edge here. Now, I do recommend that you stitch at least a half an inch in. All right, so now that you've stitched that, um, I cut off any excess uh, fabric on the end down here. So. Okay, so. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take your tunnel and you're gonna roll it like this. About an, almost two inches. And then you're gonna roll just about a half inch down, so like this. And I would clip this in place. You're gonna do this all the way around. All right, now I'm gonna take a piece of boning and I'm gonna slide it underneath it here. Like this. So I am sliding the boning underneath here. I'm gonna start off right at the seam and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna clip that boning in place. Now when you sew this, you have to make sure you don't hit this boning with your needle. And we're gonna slide this all the way. I don't normally do boning like this, but because I'm trying to hide this seam on the outside, we're gonna do it this way. And you don't have to put boning in, that is 100% optional. You want it up as far as you can get it because you don't want to hit it with your needle. But you also want to keep your seams hidden. But my boning is my boning is right here on the end, right here. And I'm going to stitch down here. Now you've stitched that, you have something that looks like this. I could not go over this part right here, so I'm gonna do it when I go on the other side. This was just too hard and it will break your needle. 
So we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're gonna wanna cut off any threads if you have any. I don't see any, okay. Now you want to flip it inside out, which may be a little difficult because now you've put boning in it. So just be patient and go slow. Now we want to hang it, right? So to hang it, we're going to put grommets in the top. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this for another motorcycle goes by. So we're gonna put grommets in this way because my tool won't fit over this edge. We're gonna put a grommet here and a grommet here. To do these type of grommets, you're gonna need this tool, which you can get at the craft store or at Walmart. And then you need the grommets. The grommets that you hammer in will have these little spikes on them. And it'll have a piece that looks like this. So here's how you do it. First, you need to poke a hole where you want your grommets. So I'm gonna put my grommet right here. You're just gonna take your scissors or something and you just basically cut through the fabric. And I know it's scary, because you're like, I just did this and now I poked a hole in it. <laughs> you're gonna take, this is gonna be the top, so you're gonna put this in like this, through to the other side. And I'll show you once I get it in there. So it should look like this. Okay. And then you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna put it over top. And then you are gonna sit this, is going to sit, does it sit in there? Or does it sit on the other way? Hold on. Ah, it sits on this edge. It sits on the non-pointy side. So you put this like this. And you sit that down on the ground and then you take this piece and you put it in there and you're going to hammer it several times. And when you're done, you will have a grommet and we're going to do the other side. And there you got your grommets. Okay, so this is the finished product. I love it. Now I got, I'm making you guys one, don't worry. Um, here's the hole in the top. And here is the inside. I absolutely love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to click the like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Please click the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And if you have any suggestions for videos, any DIYs you wanna see, anything you wanna know about ferret or small pet related, drop that information into the comments and I will do my best to try to make a video on your recommendation. Thank you guys, have an amazing week and I'll see you next time.